Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So now we're going to go back into our application and we want to create a new item and we're going to call this app.js. Really, I can um, do things this way. And then with inside app.js, uh, we're going to say variable express equals require express. And this is just simply JavaScript code, and we'll say variable app equals express. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and add some URLs here, at least one URL just for the simple hello world demonstration. So we're going to say app.get hello.txt function request response. Response dot send. We'll say hello world. Close that off. Some of my functions capitalized here. I'm not sure why that is. All right, so we respond with the hello world. And now we're going to create another uh, method here. We're going to say variable server equals app dot listen, and we're telling it the port number to listen to. So we're going to say listen to port number uh, three thousand. I don't know why the f this thing keeps capitalizing, but it's really pissing me off. Uh, you are a prick. You are a prick. All right, there we go function console dot log and then we'll say listening on port number and we can do the shorthand so we'll argument d for uh, digit we'll say server dot address server dot address dot port Alright, now let's go ahead and try to run this file. And after we do that, in order to actually run our server, we need to go ahead and say uh, node. Uh, just simply node and then the name of the application, so app.js. So now we're listening on port 3000. So let's pull up a uh, browser. We could say localhost 3000. Son of a bitch. So we have to put our local host address in here. It is HTTP 127.0.0.1 and then the name, the um, colon, your port number, and then the actual text URL here is um, hello.txt. So we'll say hello.txt alright cool so um, Node.js is serving this web page to us alright guys thanks for watching I appreciate it please subscribe and we'll get into more stuff in the next video bye